Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I like her clothes. That little vest thing is hella cool. Ethan made this for me. It was That's very pretty. kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. And you're just gonna keep it in a box? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Can't look at it. Oh, read. <laughs> Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Well, shit. Does she know that her dad is dead yet? Has anyone told her? She must know. Why does she have a dusty old tome? Wonders Made by Man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Oh, she, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Yikes, that sucks. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. I'm confused. He I mean, sounds like, like a full-grown man, but he looks like a boy. I guess he's a teenager whose voice has changed. <laughs> Begging your pardon, milady, but... You are right. What is he doing? If you don't mind my asking. I'm fine. Thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Oh, hot coals, probably. Coals to get hot for the bath. Maybe. You or hot rocks. Lady whatever. I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I no, thanks, dude. Kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. I sense he will be an ally. Oh, 
Oh shit, there she is. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, me. Don't want to just be like, I need your help. Spare. Gotta ease we into it. Through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say. I'm guessing that girl works for Cersei, or she's just jealous little bitty. I have a handmaiden from the north. Because she doesn't look very happy about being in the back. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Figures. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and, by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology. Oh my god, do I get to see Cersei? I love her. She's so terrible. She's waiting for and I love it. I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. That I am a traitor? See uh, no. Agent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Alright, I gotta play this smart and not emotionally. Because I don't want to get beheaded. My God, is 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 you can do this. Um, Tyrion there too, Peter Dinklage. This would be so scary, though. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, Your Grace. With your permission. Looks just Allow like all of them. Lady Mira of House Forrester. Utmost your respect. Place. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. I mean, the girl has been here in King's Landing. Loyal to the king. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has any loyalty... Shit. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? No, but she don't know that. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, Your Grace. That's probably the wrong answer, but to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. 
I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forest. Oh, yikes! Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame. Though I'm sure Cersei realizes that little handmaiden Mira doesn't have the authority from happening. to, you know, for sure make these kinds of claims. They Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quick. She's just torturing poor little Mira, the handmaiden. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she You're playing be. games, bitch. Who do you choose? The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in the whole of King's Landing. <laughs> right? I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl, but not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I didn't get a chance to ask Marjorie for her help, though. Probably wasn't good. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once. At the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress rude. Or wait, is this meant to take place like hell Lannisburg of like far ahead in the series? Like man. when You have my This game I think is gonna jump around a little. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. So, you know, the first thing happened during That's the Red Wedding. Courage. And so this is like, right now is like, what, a season or two after that? Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. I don't want it. They're just going to take all the forests. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? No. I'm chill. It may be far too dangerous. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner. Yeah, because him and Sansa are like married now. Dornish wine await my arrival. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. Right, so they're friendly. That's good. Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. That's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd be... No, 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 no. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power Joffrey you have as is queen the, of the, seven the devil. He's terrible. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Ha ha. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and. What are you doing? Well. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is uh -oh, not a Oh, they got in it's trouble. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Me too. That was hard. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Yep. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Yup. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Gotta ask. I I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. This is gonna bite me in the ass, but I'm already pushing my luck by asking for a favor. Come on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. 
That is no small request, especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. All you can do is ask, although it doesn't seem like Marjorie might say yes. It seems pretty, like, risky for her. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... I understand. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Oh, do I have to say something? Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you. I'm gonna get Marjorie killed by I'll Joffrey. Send a raven to my family at once. Look, he's making it. He's alive. Seven hells. Boltons, I can tell. Let's play a little game, shall we? There he is! You sack of shit. Wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> you should really not be intervening. I don't want to watch this. Let's not. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. Sorry if there's a hiccup in the editing. Yes, I had to pause it. My uh, friend called me. How much so, like, I indulged the phone call. Foresters. Day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. Fuck. Straight fucked. There. No. Hear that? I know I heard something. I'm gonna stay the fuck. Don't you dare pull some until dawn bullshit where I gotta hold the controller still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. I want to go look at it. Boltons are sick. Not the good kind of sick. The evil kind. Uh-huh. Why would you look yeah. at it? 